Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWPlanned.com. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a digital Franken planner. For those of you who don't know, a Franken planner is what some people in the planner community call it when you put together a bunch of different pages to make one planner that helps you find your planner piece. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I do that with the Passion Planner. Um, of course, if there's another planner that you like, if you're into the Amplify planner, they also have the digital downloads that you can use. And so this process works exactly the same regardless of which planner type you're using. But I'm going to use the Passion Planner for today. So we go to the website, passionplanner.com, and we're going to go to where it says Free Downloads. And from here, I'm just going to click the entirety of Free Downloads because I want to have so that brings you to the free downloads page. And so then you can scroll through and find what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to add a spring cleaning checklist. So we choose our options, choose your sizes. It doesn't really matter because it's a digital download. Um, if you're going to print them out, then you do want to choose the size based on how large or small you want it to be when you print it out. As you can see, I've added a few other pages in here when I was shopping earlier. Um, and we're going to go to checkout. So when you go to your shopping cart, that will bring up um, a checkout page. It's a little bit different than it used to be. They are tracking who downloads what, I assume. Um, and when you do, you'll get a click here to download your digital goodies. And that brings you to this file download page. And you can go ahead and download your files. And if I bring up my finder window, you can see all my downloads are there. Now what I'm going to do, now I've put together a folder that I'm calling Franken Planner that's available on my iCloud. Um, you can use Dropbox or Box.com or whatever file sharing you want, but you need something that connects to the internet. Um, or you can share your devices, if, uh, so you could share your iPad um, using as a shared device. I find it a lot easier so that I can put my Franklin planner together anywhere I go to just do it from my iCloud account. So in my iCloud account, I have a folder called Franken Planner. And I'm just going to take all these files I downloaded from Passion Planner and drop them into here. And then you may want to rename them something memorable so that you know what you're looking at um, when you go to put all these together. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a different folder. And in this folder, I so I went to a different folder on my desktop. And in this folder, I have other PDFs that I have downloaded from shops such as Chelsea Brown Shop or from my own shop. And I'm going to just drag and drop them into my Franken Planner folder. So we have my level 10 life goals from Chelsea Shop. I'm just going to download the PDFs right there. And then I also have the monthly finances from Chelsea's shop, and I'm just going to drag and drop that in. Okay. And then for my old shop, I'm going to have my roadmap. I'm just going to drag and drop that in. And then I'm going to drop in my blog post planner. And now I'm ready to go ahead and set up my Franken Planner on my iPad. You can also do this with your Amplify Planner. Um, you have two options here. You can either go to the shop for the print and digital 2020s, and you can purchase the digital version of the 2020 planner, either as printable or as the actual digital that's created to be a digital planner. I would recommend getting the PDF downloads for your uh, digital planner, okay? Or you can go down to the free downloads. Under your free downloads, there are the monthly layout, the weekly layout, and the daily layout that you can use. And all you have to do is put in a name and email address and they will email you those downloads. And then once you give them your email address, you get the links in your email from Amplify to your downloads. And then you can just click on them and that'll bring you to a PDF. You'll click the little download button at the top here, and then you can just download it and move it like we did with the Passion Planner once. 
So our next step is we're going to go ahead and load our files into whatever we're using for our digital Franken planner. I'm using GoodNotes on an iPad mini. You can use whatever program on whatever tablet you have available to you. First thing we're going to do is select our weekly passion planner file. As you can see, this is the full weekly passion planner file for the academic that's available on the website to download and that we downloaded earlier. Now, we don't use all these front pages. I would usually be stickering over those front pages if this was a real paper planner. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of the pages that I would usually sticker over in a paper planner. You know, anything that's not going to be usable. And I'm going to just go ahead and delete it. They're gone. Uh, now I just have the pages left that I would usually use in my planner, intro page, name, and the roadmap. At this point, I want to insert those pages that I would usually sticker on. So I'm going to go into my file. I'm going to add. I'm going to find one of the digital downloads that I picked earlier. In this case, the mind map from my store. And I'm going to add that right in behind the mind map that's already there. I'll go back in and I'll go ahead and add another page. In this case, it's going to be the Level 10 Life Planner from Chelsea's Shop. So we'll just go ahead and select that and add that into the planner as well. We'll go back in and do page two. Same process for each page that we're adding and we just add them sequentially. Now all of our add-in pages are there. I'm also going to go back in and add in the future log that we downloaded from the website. As you can see, because this is a horizontal small file, it comes across as horizontal. If you want, you can rotate the page, but then you're going to have to rotate your iPad every time that you're going to use it. So I'm just going to leave it as a large horizontal page going across the screen. You can do this for any of your regular planner pages. Now here I accidentally inserted those pages between the action plan and the roadmap. So I'm gonna bring up all of the pages that are in my planner. I select the page that I inserted in the wrong place and I go ahead and drag and drop it to the correct spot. So now I've dragged and dropped that to where it needs to go. I can also add it, drag and drop any other pages to the appropriate spot so that everything fits together in the order that I want it. And I can rearrange this until I find passion planner set up that works for me, delete, add pages that way. Now, as you can see, we have all of our front pages in the right order, but now we have the calendar for August, which is split across two pages. If you wanted a small one, so you can see it at a glance, get this small file and you'll have that same horizontal like we did with our month, year at a glance, as you can see. Um, but I got the medium, so we're going to have that page. Then we have our first week, once again, split into two pages because we have the medium file. If we'd wanted to see the full week at a glance, we should have downloaded the small so it would look again like the future log. But we're going to work with this because I like the bigger space. And as you can see, just like our regular planner, it goes from one week to the next. So we're going to go ahead here and add in our daily file to this spot after our first week. So we'll go in, I'll select our Passion Planner daily file from all of our downloads. And then once it loads, we will now have inserted the full Passion Planner daily file in between that week, which obviously doesn't work because now we have 90 days of Passion Planner daily behind that file. So we're going to select all the pages to delete. So your, you know, your Hardo story, your monthly pages, etc just go in there like we did earlier, select all the ones that we don't want, and we're just going to go ahead and get rid of them because we don't need those. So select everything that you want at this point that you're not going to use and just go ahead and hit delete. Once we've gotten rid of any extraneous pages, first thing we can do is take the next two weeks in between those 90 pages of dailies and just drag it up to be about seven daily pages after the first week. So we'll have our first week of August, seven pages later, we'll drag and drop up both the first and second page of the second week of August. This is a bit of a process because you're gonna to have to scroll up a lot initially. I mean, when you get to those last few weeks in the 90 days, you know, at the end of three months, 
that'll be fine. But then you're going to have to re-import the file and select more uh, to delete each every 90 days, which can be a bit of a hassle. But this still does work. As you can see, we now have all of our pages right behind our first week in that double spread layout I was explaining to you. So you have a week and then you have your seven dailies and then you can just go right on ahead into your next week. However, there's another way that you can do this so that you don't have to keep dragging and dropping. We're gonna go ahead in here and delete all of those other, um, see there was 93 daily pages in there. We kept seven, so we're gonna delete the other 64 here. 63, sorry. Go ahead, just select them all. We don't need any of these. And you can use a um, Apple Pencil is what I'm using to drag and drop here, but your finger works just as well, or your stylus, whatever. We got rid of all of those. So now we have a week, and then we're gonna have seven daily pages, and then we'll have the rest of the planner, which is still not exactly what we wanted. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the last daily page that we had, and we're gonna copy it. We're then gonna go in to our planner after the next double weekly spread there. As you can see, I highlighted it. So you're gonna go in there and or you can scroll to the end. There we are. And between this week and the next week, we're just gonna paste in that blank file. And then we're just gonna do that six more times. So just keep copy, paste. You only have to copy actually, just keep going paste, 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 and paste again. And once you've pasted your seven pages in there, you'll have a week and then seven pages and then you're just going to go to the end of the next week and keep pasting. You don't have to recopy. It'll remember the page. Just keep pasting. And so now you have, an, we have an entire month where we have a week and then the dailies. So there's your month. There's your week. Now let's say we wanted to have, between the month and the week have some monthly pages like some financial trackers. This is where we're going to insert Chelsea's page with the monthly finances. And then I'm also going to insert here the, the finance page from the passion planner that we downloaded. So this way I can keep track of my spending. It gives me a lot more options for my expenses as well as my income. Now, the thing about this is obviously it's clearly meant to be cut out and put into your passion planner. So we're going to, in the Goodreads, grab the white pen and just white out essentially all the stuff that we don't need. So dotted lines for to cut. Um, I'm going to leave the weeks there. And of course, I can always duplicate this page later if I need more space for my expenses. But essentially, we're going to just white all that out until we have the financial trackers the way we want them. Now, I want to make sure that I have my month in the title, so we're going to go to the text section, and I'm going to just go ahead and type in August of 2020, and there we are. Types a little bit faster if you have a keyboard attached to your um, particular iPad or other tablet. And then we're just going to go in, drag and drop it till it's the right size, and we have the font that you know, matches whatever our aesthetic is. There's a ton of fonts included in GoodNotes, so you can just kind of play around with it, see if you can find something that kind of works for your taste. And of course, you can do all the fun stuff, force capitals, whatever else you need to do, uh, change letter spacing. But there's our August one. And now all I have to do is drag it into the place, and there's our finances for Chelsea's. And we're gonna do the same thing with just whiting out that line where you're supposed to cut the sticker out yourself. So that way it looks like a more cohesive page that belongs in a planner. Now, once we've taken care of that, I'm gonna just write in the month. Boom, there's August. And now I have my monthly finances and my spending tracker. I can go all the way to the September now, which is my next month. And we're gonna to wanna to duplicate that same spread that we just did. So I'm gonna go back up to my financial tracker and I'm going to, there it is, and I'm gonna just copy it like we did with the other pages. Just go ahead and hit copy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back down to the page right after the monthly page for September. And I'm gonna hit paste. And we're gonna paste that in right after that. Now, of course, this says August. So we just go to our text selection tool and we're gonna go ahead and change August to September kind of magical in that we can just change the month to read whatever we need to and then drag it to make it fit the size 
space, and voila, we can just keep copy pasting all of our pages until we have a planner set up that works for us. And so once we've been we've done that, we now have a planner that we can go ahead with our stylus and just write in what we need to do. Maybe I'll start with my future log. You can, in good notes, um, highlight it and magnify it. Change your pen to be from the marker that we were using to wipe things out to a brush pen or a fountain pen. And then we can just go ahead and write in the uh, whatever we're going to write in for this. I'm going to write Happy New Year for the first day of the year. Hopefully 2021 will be a much happier year than 2020 has been so far. And once we've gotten that in, we now can zoom out and see that on our page. And that's going to be the front setup for our planner. So that is how we put together our Franken planner. We will just keep repeating that process of copy pasting in pages in the front copy pasting pages in the back that we have downloaded until we have a seamless planner that is monthly, weekly, and then daily. And just keep going like that. Of course, Passion Planner um, only does the weekly and the daily separate. You have other planners like Amplify that do the monthly, daily, weekly all together. And you can do the same process if you want to add pages to that. Uh, and this is our monthly for the Amplify. There's our weekly as you can see, falls right on from the monthly there. And then from here, we also will have the daily. But let's say the one thing I love most about the, Ampli of the Passion Planner daily over the Amplify daily is the giant amount of writing space that I have. I have that whole second page. We can still add that without even having to download anything. From the daily page, we just go into GoodNotes, add a .grid page, scroll to the next daily page, add another dot grid page. We're going to copy that daily page, add, paste the daily page after the new dot grid page, add a new dot grid page, and then paste the new daily page in there. And we can just keep doing that and then copy paste in the weekly and the monthly until we can put together a Franken planner in the Amplify that will basically help us achieve planner piece with the Amplify. And again, we can then go through, we can put in a front pages. If we want to add back pages, we can definitely do that. But now we have tons of space for writing. So now I can put in my date and I can go ahead and put in any kind of appointments that I want to put in. And I can even, after I've gotten that written in, highlight the time that I expect that appointment or meeting to last. And then I have this whole second page, just like I would in the Passion Planner daily, where I can put in my meeting notes or what any other kind of notes that I want to put into my planner. So I have all the flexibility and freedom of the Passion Planner, but in the Amplify layout, which gives me a ton more room for to-do lists. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment. We go live on Wednesdays every week. Thanks.